What's up you guys? Cade here. Uh, so we actually decided to uh, take a break from offshore fishing for a little bit and uh, try and get out here and catch some redfish and some trout. Uh, out here with Dustin. What's your channel's name, bud? Chasing Tail Outdoors. Yep, that's him. But uh, we're going to see if we can get on some. Something big, maybe trout or reds. Don't really care. But uh, if y'all like these videos, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and uh, it really helps this channel grow. And uh, when y'all do it, I can keep getting more content out to you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. Gotta do like normal. I'm gonna throw the net a couple times, try and get some little bait fish, preferably mullet, maybe some shrimp. But uh, we'll just throw a couple times to see if we can get some bait. Just gonna ease it up here close to the shore where all the mullet are and uh, try and get some. Ready? Nice little finger mullet here. That's what we were wanting. We're gonna try to get a couple more and see. As we always, can. two odd on our hook. Carolina rig. Got our nice little finger mullet here. Hook him right through the lips or the nose. Probably more that hard bony part of you know, the nose. Don't want them coming off. Always check for scales on your hook point because believe it or not, that'll stop from hooking up. And uh, we're gonna get this guy out there. Just like that. All right, y'all. We're getting a bite now on this guy. The line just went slack. Now it's taking off. Probably about to run. We're about to try to see if we can hook him. Tighten our drag up. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's running with it now. Got him. Got him, boys. I don't know what we got. We got something decent, though. Take it. Fishing's a lot slower this time of year with the winter the way it is. But what do we got? It's like a little... What is that? Little trout. Sweet. I don't know. Just short pretty little trout we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go get the release on him get him back while he's healthy and see if we can get another all right y'all we got a good one on the cork rod i think i just threw a cork out with a mullet there he is we got something big y'all something something big we just threw a cork rod out down there i don't know what we got but took a took a little finger mullet i was just casting out my other one and then this rod just took off it's getting late we're about to have to go dang this is big huh i think i think it's pretty good dude i don't know i'm not good at guessing it's heavy though whatever it is I'm gonna guess redfish, but you never. I'm gonna guess redfish, but you never know. It could be a stingray. I would not be happy. We'll see though. Dude, that thing took off. Yeah. What do we got here, guys? It's on the on a court, right up against the right up against the edge. I seen a tail, so I don't think it's a stingray. What do we got? Oh, took off. No, he didn't. What do we got, y'all? Oh, nice redfish. Nice redfish. Let's see if we can land him. That's a good one. Pretty fish. Let's see if we can get him up. 
Heck yeah. Huh? Yeah. Video? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Heck yeah, that's a nice, nice slot fish before we got to get out of here. Caught him on the cork rod, which is, we don't usually do that, but uh, I think this one's going to come home with us. Heck yeah, beautiful fish. All right, y'all. So, uh, made it back. It's the next day. Um, <clears throat> actually in the spare bedroom here, just kind of getting all the uh, other rods put away, getting all the offshore rods out because I actually think we have a uh, offshore trip plan for next weekend if the weather's good hopefully it is you never know with that but uh before i go i thought i might show you how i clean this red fish and uh might even cook it up I'm not too sure yet but we're gonna get it cleaned uh y'all check it out <clears throat> all right y'all so not really gonna talk a lot while i do this y'all can just kind of check it out as i go but uh here it is we're just gonna start right here bone um the last thing i like to do before cooking it i like to cut it cut it in half about about right there nice half cut um this side doesn't have too much red in it we're just going to cut that little bit out that's what uh makes a have makes it have a fishy taste now we're just going to cut this right down the center that just kind of cutting that red out just like that same thing with this piece a little red isn't terrible but that big big chunk right there you don't want to eat that there we go get that little bit out and uh well, yep, one more little piece all right, y'all, there we go, ready to cook. Okay, guys, so we uh, just got our fish cleaned up, um, got them inside, washed them off. Uh, the way I'm gonna cook them tonight, just going to blacken them, nothing too fancy. It's quick and easy, and I gotta work tomorrow, so <laughs> nothing too extravagant. Okay, so here's our red fish. Again, we're not gonna do anything too fancy. Just got some, uh, just some blackening seasoning from Winn-Dixie the other day. Doesn't really matter, whatever y'all really like but uh the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna season this one side one side of the fish very heavily very heavily and then we're barely gonna season the other side at all so but we're gonna put it heavily seasoned side down in the pan so it gets a nice crust on it it's gonna cook most of the way through on this side and then we're just gonna flip it so it gets completely done and then it'll be good to go all right, y'all, so this is the other side. Um, we're just going to very lightly season this side. Don't want too much because it's not going to uh, cook for too long on this side. It's going to get most of the salt from the other side. But uh, that's pretty much it. We're ready to go. Right, guys, so to start out, we're going to just get a nice nonstick pan or a cast iron skillet, really whatever you had. And uh, we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. We'll add butter later on. 
<clears throat> but we don't want it to burn and we want our fish to cook most of the way through before we add the butter. Um, at least that's my experience with it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our get our pan pretty hot here. We want our pan pretty hot when we drop our fish in. So our, uh, our pan's hot enough now. Again, we're gonna put the heavily seasoned side of the fish down first. Kind of let it get a nice crisp to it. As you can see, heavily seasoned side down. So what you want a nice sizzle. Um, honestly, the pan could have been even more hot, but doesn't really matter. All right, y'all, so now that our fish is cooked a little bit, it's actually getting white almost all the way through. It's uh, pretty ready to flip. So we're just gonna flip it just like that. It's got a nice, nice brown to it. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna cook it all the way through on this side. Just like that. All right, y'all, so now our fish is about done. Um, I could throw up my fish a little bit more well done. Uh, that's just me. But uh, uh, be right before we take it out of the pan, we're just going to add uh, a little bit of butter to it now. Just kind of add that in there. And uh, we're going to give it one more flip. All right, y'all. So as you can see, our fish is golden brown and flaky. Um, it's done and ready to go. Just going to go ahead and uh, plate it up now. Like that. Get this other piece. Oops, not good. Give it one more flip. Like Beautiful. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. There you go. Like I said, nothing fancy. Uh, just a little ketchup and tartar sauce with it is all you need. Um, but uh, that's gonna be really good. It's gonna be a really good dinner. All right, y'all, uh, fish is done. Just gonna uh, give it a try here. Get a little piece right here. Oh my gosh, this is so, it's so flaky, flaky and white. Um, I'm just gonna get a little ketchup. Mm. That's really good. Mm -mm. Yup, yeah, that's, that's definitely good. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I keep saying it a lot, but uh, please, please, please subscribe. Um, it just helps the channel grow so much, helps me out, and it helps me get more videos out to uh, out to you guys. Um, hopefully in the future, even uh, thinking about doing a pretty substantial giveaway when I get around 500 subscribers. Uh, not really for sure what it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be something good, so. Uh, Let's keep them rolling in and uh, keep making progress. I'll see y'all on the next one.